Okay. Hey, welcome to another episode of Honor Radio, and man, we are so excited about having these two guys on our show. We're bringing you to the photographers. You guys see these guys on the sidelines. They're working the sidelines. They're sweating. They're out there getting those pictures that you see all over Max Preps, now SP Live. I mean, they are the workers on the sideline, and we just thought it would be great for you to meet a few of these guys, especially the ones that we work with out of San Diego because they've become great <laughs> friends. We love them. We've been working with them for years, and we want you to meet them. So first guy I want you to meet is Steve Silva. Steve Silva, say hello, my friend. <laughs> hey, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> and Rudy Schmoke. Rudy Schmoke is also a hardworking photographer. Say hi, Rudy. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, it's good to have you, Rudy. And so, listen, I, I just want to get into your bios a little bit. I did some work. I, wanted, I did some exploratory stuff, and I wanted to give everybody who you are uh, or a, a taste of who you are out there. It says here, Stephen Silva is a high school, uh, 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 in high school, he had an ankle injury that ended his volleyball career. Yes, and it do. led him to a sports photography career. Um, he sat on crutches. My coach handed me his camera and told me to go shoot this game. A new passion was born. And what year was that, buddy? What year did that all that happen? It was probably 1976, probably around then. I was in high school when it happened. Wow, buddy. For so 40 something years, you've been shooting photography. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow, bud. That's Uh, amazing. Yeah, I was a volleyball player and I love volleyball, but then I had a really bad ankle injury and I I could barely walk, so I couldn't play volleyball anymore. Uh, But my coach, you know, I wish, I don't know if he's even still living, but his name was Tim Cunningham. So if he's out there, if he happens to see this, Coach Cunningham, Please know what a difference you made in my life because I used to go to the games and I'd sit there on my crutches and, and watch the game. And one night he comes in with his camera. He says, Steven, you look so pathetic just sitting there. Here, do something. Take some pictures. <laughs> and I took pictures of the game and they actually turned out pretty good. And he then that kind of led me to other things. That's amazing, buddy. I mean, awesome. And Rudy, how did you – now, uh, yours is funny here, buddy. It says, <laughs> I, I love being a photographer. Photography is one of the great privileges of the modern age. It also allows me to – oh, wait, this was ever for Steve. Mine. Forgive yeah. me. This one is for Rudy. I started shooting photos when I was five or six years old with my little square brownie. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about how long you've been shooting, buddy. Oh, it seems like all my life. I always loved photography. I, I had a job with uh, one of the ladies that uh, that shot school pictures and stuff. And she's the one that got me started going out to games and shooting the games so she could put them in the, the uh, what do they call it there, annual yeah. or whatever they call that thing. Uh, that's awesome, Rudy. So how many yeah. years has it been for you, bud? Is it four yeah. years, too? Um I've been with Max Preps uh, for since 2014, but before that, I was a uh, in high school. I would I worked at a photography shop and just out of high school, and then I kind of went away some other some other direction and uh, ended up being a truck driver for 38 years. And uh, then I came back. I said I'm going to start my photography up again, and and that's how I got into it again. It's amazing, Rudy. I mean, it's awesome, bud. You, you, some of your photographers, we could see them in the back there. Oh. I mean, you love what you do, just like yeah. I know Steve does. Rick, this has got to ring home to you, my friend. I mean, this is uh, your heart. You've been in photography since college, right? Even before that, it was high school. High <clears throat> school. Yeah, it Rick, was. What? It was the yearbook, you know, mm-hmm. typical thing, right? And uh, then when I was at Cal, I was the head photographer for the st- for the school. I had a staff of 20 and uh, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Yeah, Rick, yeah. Rick's got great photos of him shooting, you know, old, old concerts like, you know, the Rolling oh, Stones wow. and yeah. Carlos Santana and all those people when they were first <laughs> getting their start. It's kind of fun to see it. He's got a wall at his house. But guys, I, I, I just wanted to, I want people to get to know you, right? And I think it's really important that not only do they understand your passion, 
but you know how much you guys love what you do right to be out on the field um you know doing photography i i don't know if people understand the amount of work that is in that i mean not only do you shoot the game but you guys run home do all the editing do all the coloring tell us a little bit about a day in the life of steve after a game and during a game sure okay well i'll uh uh, I, the season just started this past Friday and Saturday with a water polo tournament. That's generally the kickoff for the fall season in, in San Diego County. And uh, it was six games. So I was out there, um, you know, over Friday and Saturday, I shot six games. And then you're right. I come home and I just start editing, just start going through the pictures. And, uh, you know, it's work. It's a lot of work, but because it's a passion. So it's I can't imagine not doing it. Um, I can't imagine, for example, someday, I know 20 years from now, I'm probably going to be too old and the honor bowl is going to happen. And I'm going to sit there and think, gee, you know, I, <laughs> so I, I think I'll be out there in my wheelchair watching at least, at least still be a part <laughs> of it because I, I can't just let events go by without recording them somehow. Oh, and, I uh, tell you, Steve, it's, it's amazing to see you on the sideline and, and especially at honor bowls, the smile. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, Rudy will vouch for that. The smile just does not go away. It does. Free five. Get up. Free five. Oh, there you got to get some. Rudy, how about you, buddy? What's a day in the life for Rudy after, uh, you know, you're shooting a game and getting home. Is it similar to what Steve had to say? Yeah. Um, usually I'll, I, I try to shoot the uh, JV first and then I shoot the uh, varsity and then when I get them home, I upload them into my computer and, and start going through them real fast. It's just delete, 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 delete the ones I don't like. Yeah. And then usually I'll do like 600 pictures. And out of that, I'll probably only post like maybe 200, 250 or something. What do you so, guys, what do you guys look for when it comes to what you like? Is there something that you look for that says, um, you know, this is the picture I choose. You start, Rudy. Um, usually I, I look through it so I can see their face. And, mm -hmm. of course, that it's sharp and in focus mm -hmm. and uh, not too far away. I like to fill the, the my camera lens with the whole body of what I'm taking a picture of so I don't have to crop it a lot. So mm -hmm. but that's usually what I do. I look for somebody or, you know, an outstanding play like somebody diving over the goal line with the ball mm -hmm. um and get a nice shot of that mm -hmm. what about yeah, you? go ahead Rudy. It, it's just that the, the you got to have them facing you you don't want pictures of their backs mm -hmm. and so when um and of course in focus so uh, that's about it yeah. how about you steve show me the money i uh <laughs> i you know i try to capture the emotion of the game the uh, the game is the action that's taking place on the field. So I try to get as much of that as I possibly can. But it's also the reaction of the fans in the stands. I try to get that. Uh, I try to get the players talking to each other. Uh, I try to get uh, uh, players talking to their coaches. Those are always great shots. Yeah. Because it's, it's the emotion of what's happening at the game. Yes. And uh, so I try and include as much of that as I possibly can. Anything unusual to anything that stands out. Right, uh, right. One of my favorite Max Preps photographers, I don't know, should I, can I say his name? Yes. Uh, okay, a guy named Heston Kwan, who shoots up in Orange County. And I was looking at his gallery of the water polo finals just last year. And one of the teams involved was a team called J. Sarah Catholic. Sure. And he got a picture of a group of nuns who were applauding one of the plays. And I thought, that's a great shot. <laughs> because it's you hardly ever see that you know so um so i try and uh emulate heston a lot and because uh, he gets some really good stuff and then from there i um you know just just try and capture the whole thing you know how about luis lopez uh he's great too he is awesome yeah mm. he's one of the awesome ones and yeah. uh i hesitate to name names because there are other there are other, there's so many good photographers out there and there's a lot of them you know, I can't possibly name everybody, but uh, I really like seeing the work of some of the new ones that are coming up. 
because they come up with with fresh eyes. They haven't been doing this for you know years and years like Rudy and I have. Mm-hmm. So it's neat to see what what they see. And uh and no doubt I, about I guess, it. I guess I incorporated what everybody else does. <laughs> There's another gentleman out of Arizona, uh Karaz Karazi. I hope I'm saying his right name Kassar, right. Michael Casares. Great photographer. Yes, really. Yes, he, is. he just it's always fun to look at all your galleries and especially his especially after the honor bowl, he's coming to the honor bowl. Um, yeah. uh, there's some Arizona teams coming out, so he's pretty excited about that, but I, let's talk about the honor bowl, right? Because I got to tell you, I always know it's the honor bowl when you guys are sidelined for some reason, <laughs> when I see you guys come on the <laughs> sideline, you got your hats on, you got your gear on you. It's just, it, I go, Oh man, we're in another honor bowl. Right. And some of the photos you guys get, I mean, I know you, Steve, go to Camp Pendleton with us. Right. And you've captured amazing photos over the years of the kids and, uh, you know, going through Camp Pendleton and meeting the Marines and getting that whole indoctrination of, you know, a Marine for the day. Right. Yeah. And uh, some of your tunnel photography, <laughs> same with Rudy. I mean, uh, what 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 what's your favorite moment when it comes to an honorable? Oh boy, that's you know. Speaking about this, that's a really good question. There's so much of it. There's so many parts of it that I have to get. And um, you know, I think when I, okay, when I see those wounded warriors come out, mm-hmm. and and I, it always just strikes me that these are people that have suffered traumatic losses, mm-hmm. and uh, and they're moving on with life. They're not letting it. They're not letting anything stop them. And I think that's kind of what the honor bowl is all about. Mm. You know, just uh, it's like, yeah, we're all going to face uh, trauma and challenges in our lives. And uh, the young athletes participating, us older photographers participating, the, the thing is just to keep moving, keep moving forward. And uh, Bring on! Get up! there we go. <laughs> I think that's probably, uh, that's probably one of my takeaways from it. Um, what about you, Rudy? What about, what about you? How do you feel? I, I like the, uh, well, let's, let's see, the first honor bowl I shot, you had the ceremony with the, the gun and the helmet and all the that. Battle stuff. cross, yes. And so I'm looking at that, watching that, and then taking some pictures, and then I looked over, it was, you were honoring my uh, nephew, who was killed over in uh, Iraq. Mm. And so mm. I was like, wow, that's cool. So I saw Donna, which is her mother, and uh, his mother, I'm sorry. And uh, there, and I put my arm around her. She says, "Who the hell's that?" <laughs> 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 wow, buddy! I we I never knew, heard that story. I've yeah. never heard that story. So we actually were honoring your nephew, and you yeah, it was actually happened his, to be yeah. yeah. She put the what she do the uh, the dog tags over over the thing. Yeah. Wow, Rudy, that's powerful. That's Rudy, powerful. What year was that? What year was that, Rudy? Oh, wow. Um, Was it a cathedral I Catholic? I've done it. Huh? Was, was it that a cathedral, cathedral Catholic? Catholic? Yeah, it's a cathedral Catholic. Yeah. Okay, might have been. We started there in nineteen or twenty seventeen. Okay. So, yeah. It could have been. Yeah. So it probably was twenty seventeen. Who was the first one? That's awesome to hear, buddy. I did not know that. That's a it's a wonderful story. Yeah, I mean, there's one iconic photo that one of you caught. I think it was either you or Steve of the Punahou, the Hawaiian team yeah. coming through the tunnel. And I, I got it right here. That's it. <laughs> right. Here. right? There it is. And I was on a call with uh, one of the Punahou's ADs um, years ago. No, you know what it was? It's I just... posted that picture on Facebook. And he said to me, he was, uh, he's my friend on Facebook. And he said, where did you get that photo? And I said, oh, I got it. You know, I saved here, but I also got it hanging up in my office. He goes, I got to have that. I just got to have that. <laughs> so he ended up, he ended up getting the photo and making it like a, a piece like I have here the camera yeah. behind me. But I got to tell you guys, it's, it's always powerful after the honorable and sometimes steve will come up to me and go look mark look mark look what i got right look at this right <laughs> it's always fun to see those those photos sidelines and to see how excited you guys get 
when when you see that you guys have captured a great image like like the battle cross a good photo of a touchdown you know that type of thing can you think of a game that you guys can remember besides all the imagery that happens at the honor bowl, but something that just remember a certain game where you went, man, I got some great photos that game. Anything come to mind? Uh, Rudy, you want to go first? I got a couple. <laughs> okay. You go ahead. I'm thinking about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, um, coach, the game that I remember uh, was the team. It was up in mission Viejo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe the team was from New Jersey, I think. Uh, yes. and, yeah, yeah. St. Joseph or something. And, Joseph. Uh, and I was, I was just really, really proud of those kids because they went up against a really formidable opponent and they held their own. I mean, they, they did great out there and that one really sticks out for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were a few, um, I, one of the early honorables, um, one of the players suffered a really bad broken leg. And uh, that was a uh, Del Oro. That was the Del Oro game. game. Wow. And I remember the next year he was there yeah. and he was still on crutches, but, and, but he was hobbling around and, and this time he was helping the coaching staff. And that was what I said earlier, that look at the injury this kid suffered and still he's out here. You know, he didn't let it, let it stop him. So his that name, one, I had to go up and shake his hand. I was buddy. His name slips in my mind, but he actually became a football coach. He worked really? with Casey Taylor. He worked with coach Casey Taylor um at del oro then went on to capital christian and actually no became a coach yeah he wow. sure did yeah that's really something yeah what about you rudy anything anything come back your way um i tell you every time i go i look i get so excited to to shoot the honor ball it's always super hot down there in, in, uh, in the field but uh yes it i is. still look forward to it every time and i'm trying to think about Something special, but they're all special, huh? Honoring Kenny that was the only thing I can think of. I always think of that when I think of the honor bowl. That's that's a great memory, buddy. And thank yeah. you, thank you for telling us that story. Yeah, he was only he was only in Iraq for like a week, and then and then a side uh, but a car bomb took him out. Really? Yeah, that's very similar to Patty Schumacher. Our 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 CEO, who uh, his son, her son was only in Afghanistan for a short period of time before he was killed, and yeah, um, yeah those that that's rough. That is really yeah. rough. I mean, whenever you lose a child, it's rough. But uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to bring up, Steve, is you got a great story of actually giving somebody your camera. Tell us I that. Did. One, Steve. <laughs> tell us, I tell did us a few that. years ago. Uh, it was kind of funny. I, I I remember it was at Grossmont High School, and they were playing Poway. And uh, I was on the sidelines taking pictures, and there was some kid that was following me around. I, I could tell, you know, what's with this kid? And sometimes I forget when I shoot these uh, these events that a lot of times people know who I am. And I forget that. You know, people know me from the website and from the Honor Bowl and everything. And, and I forget that sometimes. So the kid was like following me around and finally I just said hi to him and he goes, are you Steven Silva? And I go, yeah. And, he, and then he just like the floodgates open. He's a photographer too. And he started telling me everything. And uh, so he followed me around all night long, asked me about a thousand questions. One of the questions he asked was what happens to your old camera when you get a new one, which I had recently had. And I said, Oh, the, my old camera is just sitting at home. It's just collecting dust. And he said, any chance you would sell it to me? And I said, well, you know, it's not really worth anything, you know, because to me, I had moved on to the next level, you know. So um, I said, it's not really worth anything. And he said, it is to me. And his enthusiasm was so much that I just thought, you know what? I'll just give you the camera. I'm not, you don't have to give me anything. You know? <laughs> and the That's look amazing. on his face was worth more than any amount of money he could have come up with. And I just said, here, here's your new camera. I hope that it brings you as much joy as has brought me and uh and he <laughs> he was still out there uh, for for months after he was out on the sidelines he'd be he'd be emailing me pictures he got with his new camera oh, and that's it was cool. great that's an yeah. amazing photo God, Bring you know. on. Get up! <laughs> no that's an amazing story buddy and it just goes to the heart of who you guys are right 
I mean, um, yeah, I, when I coach business people, right, I always tell them about the importance of being a giver, the importance of being a server, right? And that's what you guys do. You guys are out there sweating um, and, and you don't realize like you and Rudy probably don't, but you, cause you, you're, you guys are givers and servers that you've kind of are celebrity, right? Because people <laughs> see your images, they see your, 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 what you do, right. And so many people love them. I mean, a lot of people not only go to max preps and SB live for the stats, but they go for the photos, right? They want to see what they look like, what they were doing, all that type of stuff. I got to tell you, some of my favorite photos are like what Steve was talking about, the fans. I love seeing that. I love seeing the cheerleaders. I love seeing that the cheerleaders are having a good time, right? That they're, because they 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 work hard too, man. Those, those girls are hard workers, right? And I just think it's a lot of fun when you do the the scanning of the stands and they have the student sections, right? The yeah. student sections, especially for the honorable, they come out with red, white, and blue. They come out with all the stuff. I love those photos. It just, it inspires me. And I know it inspires Rick to keep going, right. And to keep doing this event because we see the smiles and how much the kids and the fans and the coaches and the cheerleaders appreciate it. Right. Yeah. Um, Rick, do you have anything you want to add to that? It's, it's totally, it's totally their eyes. It's their heart that it's, that gets displayed. It's, um, <clears throat> I I remember asking both of you guys one year at the Honor Bowl, and I said, hey, guys, you know, Mark and I are thinking about not having the tunnel. What What do you think? I remember. <laughs> and, and Steve, why don't you say what, I, what you said to me? I said, oh, boy, I don't remember the exact words, but it was like, no, we, you have to have the tunnel. You have to have it. <laughs> it's, it's just it, you know. I was and, like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's become the honor ball. It really has. Yeah. You're right. Uh, you know, I remember when we first decided to come out with the honor ball. I can't remember how, Rick, maybe remind me a little bit about why we chose the tunnel. What happened where we, we decided, well, we're going to just do something different and build the tunnel. Right. And I think it was, did, uh, was a game not being able to be televised or live stream. And we came up with another option. What brought that on? Well, what, what happened, Mark was we were always having these really large led screens that would broadcast the game right, right. for both the home and away. And it costs a lot of money for that. So we're mm -hmm. entertaining the crowd mm -hmm. and we decided that it would be a lot better for a player experience to make it all about them. So between the moto talk and the entrance and, and the pregame event that we have with motocross uh, or moto talks and, and, and battle cross, that's, that's the big reason why. And it's, it's also the, the centerpiece. Anytime something happens, you know, they're, they're whooping it up some way with, with touchdown or, you know, it's, um, it, it's truly uh, an experience for the for the fans, but it's a lot bigger, I think, for the kids. That's what it, it's about. really, you know, I, I I appreciate that, Rick. Thank you for reminding me of that, and you too, Steve. Um, you know, a, another thing that um, has been captured in the past is when we go into the locker rooms and we talk to the athletes with the wounded athlete and the chaplain and myself, and we tell the story of the honor ball. And another thing that is a great memory and it happens, it's going to happen to 16 teams in the next two weeks, right? Back to back weeks. We do this event, 10 schools in San Diego, another six schools in Northern California. But the thing that hits home with me and I've seen kids cry, I've seen kids just overwhelmed with emotion is when we ask the coach to choose the young athlete that's going to carry the flag out the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is so powerful. And I've seen, like I said, it, it, kids get, you know, filled with emotion to know that they're going to be leading their team out the tunnel with that flag waving. It's extremely powerful. Very powerful. Yeah.
<laughs> that gets a get yeah. some, right? <laughs> I, I got to tell you guys, I uh, it's uh, I, I can't tell you enough how much we we appreciate you, and uh, you you tell the story of the honorable right? Yeah, we have live stream. Yeah, we, you know, we, we do things that people could see on their computers and all that. But really, buddy, it, it, both you guys, Rudy and Steve, we want to honor you by being on this radio podcast, because you and your lens tell the story. They tell the story, right? Thank and you. um, we really appreciate you very much, right? Thank and, you. And we're looking forward to, I mean, we're two weeks away. Two, two weeks, weeks out, <laughs> you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be out there in the heat sweating. We always are. Right. Yeah. But it's worth it. It's worth yeah. it. When we see those kids, their faces, the fans, um, the battle cross, um, it's a, it's a very emotional moment. And now to it hear is. Rudy's nephew, right. We're honoring his nephew, right. Yeah, it's, it's extremely powerful. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you for your hearts. Go ahead. Thank Steve. you. Thank yeah. you, Coach, for having us. And I I want to tell you that Rudy and I have had many conversations about how impressed we are with you guys. Sometimes we just look around and we go, wow, they do all this. They put all this together. We just show up and take pictures, you know. But <laughs> you guys, I mean, my gosh, you know, the way, I mean, just getting 10 teams together on the same date or, you know, on the same weekend. Is in that in itself is just such an impressive thing, but uh, just just the whole thing is it's really you guys do one heck of a job. So thanks for letting us be a part of it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Rudy. You got anything you want to say final? Well, I, I'm with Steve. I just am impressed with uh, the amount of the, the amount of work that went into to uh, putting on these things, and then you do it up in uh, what San Francisco. Now we bring it right back up to set. Well, this next year, it's going to be in Sacramento. We were doing it in the Bay area, but now we're bringing it back to Sacramento one more year. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, I got to tell you guys and in all honesty, and I'll, I'll say this publicly, that man right there, Rick Setter is a, a key architect. I mean, from the moment this event ends, Rick is on the phone, talking to coaches, um, doing his thing. And uh, uh, I, I just can't, it's a lot of that work is Rick Sutter. So, uh, and, and you know, it's, what's, what's really great too, Mark is the interest that we continue having with, um, with teams. I mean, we have teams that always want to be part of it. Um, some teams, you know, I mean, they, they have to do a two year contract, you know, they'd rather do it that way than one year and honorable and then they're stuck. Um, mm -hmm. But I have teams coming from, Provo, Utah to Northern California. Um, I have Punahou coming out to play Centennial for our finale. That's going to be uh, a huge game. Yeah. It's going to be a great game. We have Red Mountain coming back from Arizona playing Helix. Mm -hmm. um, we have University City, a school that got in touch with me last year and just said, hey, five of our, five of our coaches are, are um, uh, veterans. Does that help us to be possibly considered to be in the honor bowl. And it's like, well, it's, it's not going to hurt, but that's not <laughs> how we choose. But, um, you know, it's, um, and they're playing a team coming in from Texas. We have a team coming in from Texas. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all and it's, it's something that we touch more of those athletes. We touch more of those coaches and the communities that they go back to. And um, that's what the honor group and the honor bowl is all about. You know, yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people think that um, it, we, we, when we go searching for games, we're always searching for the, 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 the top 25 in the nation that, you know, that are um, uh, the best of the best. And honestly, um, it, we, it, when, when we get word from a team that has five coaches that are vets, right. Or maybe even a team in the past that had a, a student athlete that joined the military and was killed, right? Uh -huh. It doesn't necessarily have to be the best of the best. Sometimes the story that we hear from these coaches is enough to tip the point to Rick and I to say, hey, man, 
we got to We got to bring these guys in. Right. And yeah. so, um, we love what we do. It's a passion. We love what you guys do. And uh, it's an honor to have you on here. I hope a lot of people watch this and 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 hear your guys' hearts because you guys are the biggest hearts out there. Really. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank to you. both of you. All and right, thanks guys. To my, thanks to my partner, Rudy. I, I don't think I could do it without him. You know? we, love, we love you guys. We yeah. love you guys. Hey, have a great year. Be out there. We'll be watching you guys in your photos, watching you on social media. Keep it up, guys. Keep doing the great job. We'll see you in two weeks. But, All guys, right. this is another episode of Honor Radio saying we're out. Talk to you All later. Right. Thanks. Thanks.